Hey killers, welcome back to my channel for yet another review. And in today's video, we will be doing the masks from 1996's Scream. All right. <laughs> All right killers, so to kick this off, I finally did it. I completed the ghost face mask collection. Hey, my dose, made it through. And this is all just the best to my knowledge. There's so many people I have to thank and I thanked everybody that helped me out in each Scream video that we did. But killers, for this special video, I have to thank Burke Bench Designs and The Sewing Shroud because without Burke Bench Designs, we would not have fascinating replica masks like we do today. So big thank you to Burke Bench Designs and big thank you to The Sewing Shroud. Both of them killers. Be sure to go follow them. I will leave their links down in the description below. So again, thank you so much killers. Now to kick this off, killers, we have the K&B Ghostface Mask. <laughs> and this I could not have done without Burke Bench Designs. And everybody pretty much knows the story behind this mask. <laughs> that when they were making Scream, they found a fun world, weeping, peanut-eyed Ghostface just chilling somewhere. So they tried to replicate it as best as they could and it did not work out but they decided to leave it in the movie. And throughout the years, this mask has become so iconic in so many ways. I am very pleased and very thankful to own one. So thank you, Burke Bench Designs. Amazing mask, amazing quality. I love that they updated this tag. They made it into a harder material. That way it stays a little more sturdy and doesn't want to bend like right away. They have their logo right at the corner, latex mask. And this is a pretty good thickness of latex. Flip it over. One size fits all, K and B, inspired by the motion picture Scream. <laughs> now, as soon as I got this other mask I'm about to show you, I ordered this one right away because I knew I would need it again someday. And I really regretted selling mine, but hard times during COVID and needing the money, I had to let go of a lot of really good masks. And I'm actually getting most of them back which I'm very thankful for. There's still two or three masks that I didn't get back yet, and they're very rare to find. But let's check out the mask of the hour. And to go along with this review, Killers, my amazing girlfriend, my number one killer, got me this replica Scream script. Now it is signed by Neve Campbell, Courtney Cox, David Arquette, Matthew Lillard, and Drew Barrymore. Now this is a replicated Scream script, and I was reading through it, and I could not be happier to be reading. And Killers, the one you've been waiting for, the one I've been waiting for, that I've been searching for. Yeah, you're gonna love this one. It's a scream, baby. This killer really helped me out, the Sewing Shroud. Be sure to go follow him. His link will be down in the description below. And Killers, here we have the multi-dot Generation 1 Fantastic Faces. And oh my god, this mask. I cannot believe that I have this in my collection. The mask is very warped, just how every Gen 1 should look. But I mean, you can always do the hairdryer tricks. Now the sewing shroud, I can't thank you enough, dude. Literally cannot thank you enough. When I was searching for a Gen 1 mask, I thought I would never find one. Now I've been told and rejected multiple times that no, buy a bunch of mask collectors in the Scream community. When I would ask them if they had a Gen 1 for sale, if they would help me out, they said no. Even when they had six or seven, they said lowest I'll go is a thousand dollars. And I cannot stress this enough killers, do not pay that much for a mask. It is a mask that they found at their local Goodwill. Do not pay that much for a mask. I mean killers, I have tons of masks that are discontinued and I did not pay a thousand dollars for these masks. And I'm not just talking about these two, nor this one. I have tons of masks that are not made anymore that are very rare, very sought after, that I didn't have to lose an arm or a leg for. Limited edition, let's do some simple edition. $50 for a t-shirt that's just some ignorant bitch. So killers, do not pay that much for a ghost face mask because it is just a mask. If you really want that mask that bad and are willing to lose a down payment for something that you actually need in life, then go right ahead, be my guest. But to everybody else smart enough, do not pay that much for a mask. It is just a mask. And killers, if you do not feel like going out in the wild and hunting down this mask, I'm gonna pop some tags. Only got $20 in my pocket. You can do your part by going to change.org and signing the Bring Back the Gen 1 Fantastic Faces mask. Now there's over 600 people that signed so far, so be sure you sign that petition and help reach the goal killers to get to a thousand signatures. 
because honestly, I think it's worth a shot. I know we can do it. So killers, be sure to go sign that petition. With that being saying, killers, I got this mask in a trade. Yes, a trade. I traded my good friend, the sewing shroud, at least four or five masks just for this. And he only wanted the two and I just decided to throw in the extras because I didn't need them. And this killer, the sewing shroud, not only sent me this, but sent me a few more extras that I am super psyched about. So the sewing shroud, thank you so much, killer. Now the weeping ghost or the peanut eyed ghost, the gen one, the generation one, fantastic faces mask, whatever you want to call it. The mask from Scream 1996 that started it all, killers. I'll turn behind you, behind you. I have got mine finally and I am super excited. I feel completed. It is such an honor to own this mask. And killers, if you're wondering, yes, this is a replica tag that I got from my good killer, Sorio. So be sure to go follow him. His link will be down in the description below as well. He does not make these tags for just anyone. So please do not go bugging him for these tags. And I actually really think my mask resembles the garage scene with Tatum and Ghostface. Oh, you wanna play Psycho Killer? Can I be the helpless victim? Okay, let's see. No, please don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. I want to be in the sequel. So I am super happy for that. All right, killers, so without further ado, let's give you some shots of these on and up close. All right. What's the matter, Sydney? You look like you've seen a ghost. All right, killers, that is going to do it for today's video. If you liked it, please drop a like, subscribe if you already haven't, and become a killer today. Don't forget to hit that little notification bell so you will always be notified every single time I post a new video. And again, killers, I want to give a special thank you and a big shout out to Burke Bench Designs for always doing outstanding work, outstanding replicas, selling great props, great masks for great prices. So if you would like to get your very own KMB replica mask, be sure to go hit them up. Their link is down in the description below. So Clive, thank you so much again, killer. And I hope you like this video. And as well, killers, be sure to go give the Sewing Shroud a follow on Instagram. His link is down in the description below as well. I want to give him a special thank you and a big shout out for helping me out with such a great mask for such a great deal. All right, killers, I think that's going to be everything for the Scream 1996 mask review. And we got a couple more Ghostface surprises for you, killers, including the killer from scary movie and killers to celebrate getting the scream franchise done and getting us to 1900 subscribers i will be doing a special giveaway of the 25th anniversary ghost face mask because these are very sought after very hard to get and to show my appreciation killers i want to do a giveaway so if you would like to find out more on how to enter be sure to go follow me on instagram and keep on the lookout for a post all right killers don't forget to leave me a comment down below letting me know which of the films is your favorite at the scream franchise which of the masks is your favorite do you have a gen one are you looking for one let me know down below and i will see you in the next video peace